Franciscan Fathers offer Masses for the following intentions for the soul of Anthony D'Souza offered by Naveen V.S. and family, for the soul of Shyam Sundar on the first death anniversary offered by Soumya John Sunil and family, for the soul of Shyam Sundar on the first death anniversary offered by Shant Kumari, for the souls of Michael Nayagi, Anthony Rajan offered by Balavinder, James and Nimitta, Thanksgiving and the wedding anniversary of Jaya Nameri Sahaya Raj offered by John Nimitha and family. For the soul of ESA Benjamin offered by Joshua Francis Xavier. For the soul of ESA Benjamin offered by Francis Xavier Benjamin. Thanksgiving to Mother Mary offered by Baskar and family. For the soul of NC Anthony offered by Stella and family. For the soul of M. Joseph Jaya Raj and Anthony Savarimutu offered by Cruz and family. For the special intention of Jayadeep Omanamani and Geetu Mani. For the special intention of Shaila offered by Iru Silva and family. Along with these intentions, my dear brothers and sisters, let's also remember the Archbishop of Bangalore, Emeritus Bernard Morris, who is admitted in the hospital, that God may grant him good health and speedy recovery. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, through the grace of adoption, chose us to be children of light. Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading 
I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and plant them on their land. A reading from the book of Amos. Thus says the Lord, In that day I will raise up the booth of David that is fallen, and repair its breaches, and raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and all the nations who are called by my name, declares the Lord who does this. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him who sows the seed. The mountains shall drip sweet wine, and all the hills shall flow with it. I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel, and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine, and they shall make gardens and eat their fruit. I will plant them on their land, and they shall never again be uprooted. Out of the land that I have given them, says the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, the Lord speaks of peace for his people. stand for gospel acclamation.
The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, the disciples of John came to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch tears away from the garment, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wine skins. If it is, the skin burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wine skins, and so both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the words of the Holy Gospel, our sins be forgiven. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Mark Link tells a story about a woman who was almost following things which were not really reasonable. I'm going to adapt that one slightly to make our point clear from the gospel that we have heard today. The woman was purchasing from the supermarket fish and every time she bought the fish, she cut the fish into two parts and she started frying. And it was happening for a long time. One day her husband happened to be curious and asked the wife why she was cutting the fish into two and frying it. And the woman replied, my mother used to do the same. I do not know for what reason she was doing and I'm following it. The husband told the wife, you better ask your mother why she did it so that you get an answer and a reason for why you are doing. The next time the woman went to her mother's house and she asked the mother why she was cutting the fish into two and frying it. The mother, to her surprise, replied, you know, my daughter, the frying pan that I have is very small and therefore I needed to cut into two pieces in order to have enough place in the frying pan to fry the fish. The mother was reasonable, but the daughter, though she had a bigger frying pan, but she was following what the mother was doing. Similarly, the disciples of John and the Pharisees, they were fasting expecting the Messiah to come. When the Messiah was already there, there was no need for them to fast because the bridegroom is already with them. Certain practices that we also follow, especially some of you may be fasting on Friday. You may be knowing the reason why you are doing it or you may not be knowing the reason why you are doing it. Because your grandmother told you or your mother told to fast on Friday, you fast. But there should be a reason. Or there are some people who will wear saffron dress or kavi cloth during the season of Lent. 
Some may have a, a particular intention with which they will wear that dress, follow all the rituals meticulously in order to receive the grace of God. Some just do it because it has been told by mother or grandmother or father or because the others are doing. Some of us may wear even big rosaries in order to fulfill an intention for which we have been praying. If it is an intention for which we are doing, reasonable, you can do it. But then after that, do we also follow the same kind of life? That is the question that we need to ask. It is not just to get the favor, grace of God, because God is so gracious. Even if you don't do it, all these rituals, God will bless you because we acknowledge him as our father. To fulfill our own desires, we take up so many things and meticulously we follow it. But after following it, do we also try to follow it for the rest of our lives? That is the question we need to ask ourselves. Jesus also go, goes on to tell another beautiful thing about stitching an unshrunk cloth and an old garment. We know we don't patch up the old clothes with another piece of old cloth, but we patch it up with new. And likewise, we may not be very familiar with the wine skin and how we preserve it, but during the time of Jesus, that's what was happening. New wine, new wine skin. Old wine, old wine skin. Our practices of rituals, our practices of traditions and customs that we follow need not be so meticulously followed because if we know the reason why we are doing it, then we can follow it. If we do not know, then the practice itself becomes unreasonable and it is not fruit-bearing. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, as long as the wedding guests are there when the bridegroom is still there, they will feast. And we know the bridegroom, our Lord Jesus Christ, is always with us to celebrate every event, even, as St. Francis would say, if the Christmas comes on a Friday, do not fast on that day. Rather, he says, smear the wall with meat and that's how he breaks the tradition of just following the rituals. What we need to celebrate, we need to celebrate. And when we have to refrain, we need to refrain, but with reason, with meaning. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church.
O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you gave life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we are free in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy that it should enter under my, my roof, but only say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed. Let us now say the spiritual communion prayer. Please repeat after me. My Jesus, my Jesus I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Jesus. 